पार्डन लीजिए राकेश शर्मा सारे राष्ट्र का ध्यान आपके तरफ है और हम सब आपको बधाई देते हैं यह एक ऐतिहासिक कदम है मेरी आशा है कि इससे हमारा देश अंतरिक्ष के प्रति जागरूक होगा इन 1984 इंडियन एस्ट्रोनॉट राकेश शर्मा हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू गो टू स्पेस फॉर द रशियन इंटरकॉस्मोस प्रोग्राम बट दैट हैज बीन इट फॉर इंडिया नाउ द टाइम हैज चेंज्ड एंड अ न्यू डॉन इज अपॉन द कंट्री टू टेक इट्स वेरी ओन जॉइंट ली द गगनयान an indigenous mission that would take vyomnuts to space was announced by our prime minister during his independence day speech in the year 2018 this mission will launch from the sriharikota space port in andhra pradesh it will carry a three man team of vyomnuts into low earth orbit india will be the fourth country to circle earth after the soviets the americans and the chinese Four ace pilots of the Indian Air Force Army have been selected for this India's maiden manned mission. The training of the astronauts is taking place in Russia. Three amongst them will be on board the mission. Indian astronauts are not known as cosmonauts but they are known as vyomnuts. In Sanskrit, vyom means sky. ISRO has set up new center called Human Space Flight Center and the work relating to Gaganyaan is being managed from there. The spacecraft mainly consists of a service module and a crew module collectively known as the orbital module. It will be flown twice uncrewed for validation before conducting actual human space flight. The ISRO has already flight tested its crew module and its recovery some years back. ISRO has also tested the crew escape system. The test was over in 259 seconds during which the crew escape system then arced out over the bay of Bengal. and floated back to earth under its parachutes about 2.9 kilometers from Sri Harikota the spacecraft is expected to be in a low earth orbit of 3 to 400 kilometers the space flight will take 16 minutes to reach orbit it is intended to send 3 astronauts to space for a minimum of 7 days by 2022 the capsule will rotate around the earth every 90 minutes and the astronauts will be able to witness sunrise and sunset The astronauts will be able to see India from space every 24 hours while they conduct experiments on microgravity. For its return, the capsule will take 36 hours and will land in the Arabian Sea just near the coastline of Gujarat. GSLV MK3, India's three-stage heavy lift launch vehicle, will be carrying the four astronauts to space. It is equipped with life support, environmental control systems, emergency mission abort and emergency escape israel aims not to fly animals on board missions unlike the other nations that have carried out human space flight instead it will fly humanoid robots for a better understanding of what weightlessness and radiation do to the human body during long durations in space in january 2020 israel announced vyomitra a female looking robot who will accompany the other astronauts on the mission according to isro vyomit can recognize humans and answer questions as well as carry out some experiments it can monitor biological parameters and operate switch panels and life support activities vyomit can also converse with astronauts gaganyan comprises people from various isro departments industries army navy drdo hal indian institute of science IIT Bombay all other stakeholders including Rakesh Sharma who are contributing to the mission and involved in the operations the gaganyaan project has the objective of demonstrating human space flight capability to low earth orbit with three crew members in orbit and safely recovering them after the mission if this mission succeeds india will join an exclusive group of countries that have put humans into space however that also means there's a more limited pool of experience to draw from aside from how hard it is just making a rocket that's stable enough to reach space and back it's not exactly safe for astronauts out there either our vyomnuts are going to have to keep exercising during their week in orbit if there's some sort of freak medical emergency the crew will have to somehow manage their joint medical knowledge frankly Being the first time makes them brave as hell.
Israel was targeting August 2022 for the launch to mark the 75th anniversary of Indian independence, but the project will be slightly delayed due to COVID-19 conditions. The Gaganyaan mission, while a milestone in our spacefaring history, is obviously not the end game for Israel. What we want to do is gaining comfort and experience launching humans to space so we can one day get them to the moon, Mars and who knows how much further. To that end, it might even be possible for us to catch up to others doing the same. Gaganyaan is the first ever human space mission conceived and developed in India that will truly take things to a whole new level. This 10,000 crore rupees mission will be a turning point in India's space journey. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down on which topic you would like to watch our next video. And also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We'll meet you in next video. Till then, Jai Hind.